What's up, y'all? I got a banger from Shaq Reacts. Let's get straight into it. That you, Mr. Knighton, are not the father. That's a lie. Hey, what's going on, guys? Shaq Reacts here once again. And today's some crazy. <laughs> That's a lie. The lie detector test determined. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> Can you imagine getting a DNA test back and the chick's like, That's a lie. <laughs> He's not the father. He's the father. 72 hours. He, he is not the father. He is not the father. He is not the father. How many times tattoo. do I have to say that? No, I don't want to see a tattoo. All I want to see was these numbers to see what the tattoo since when does getting a tattoo of somebody else's name or somebody else's kid's name mean you're the dad? Ability was one to look like of him being the father. He is not the father. Now, that was you, way too much, by the way. you have a tattoo, excuse me. You, you know what? I don't even see why you all need to be having a conversation right now. I agree. Can we you do are not the father, which means that you will not be placed on any type of child support or anything today. Now, you, Miss McKinney, you do have the right to petition someone else who you may think. <laughs> she's a run, she's a track star. <laughs> I love it is the father. There is no one else, Your Honor. It was him. He has a tattoo on his private part. I was with him and the tattoo for 72 hours. I know what I felt. I know what I saw. Okay? It well, was him. Well, I, I, there, there is a probability of something. I love it when a woman tells her bop lore. Else, though. Okay. You were probably with somebody else, too, within that previous 72 hours. Oh, Your Honor, you tried it. There's no shade. Just facts. So wait a minute, how is this woman getting offended from straight- That's what I'm saying. He's not the dad, you're a runner. She's a runner, she's a track star. She's going in there telling her bop lore. How you got multiple men inside of you in 72 hours, man? That's hate. You know what? I gotta give it up to her. She working hard for that. I mean that married or not, if I ever had his baby, that he would want a DNA test before he would accept that child as his own. When he told me that, I was like, what? Well, please get rid of these grandma glasses. Shots fired! Why are y'all wearing these? It honestly pissed me. It's like me. you went to Lens Crafters, looked at those on the rack, and said, you know what? Those are the ones I want. There's so many other different glasses that you could get. Those are like the 1970s specials. You know, if we got into it, I was telling him how he made it seem like he didn't trust me and all these different things. And he was saying, no, that's not it. You don't understand because you're a woman and you would never have to question if that child is yours or not once you have it. Even if you trust someone, you could still have that small percentage of a chance that that child is truly not yours mm -hmm. and then he was saying how if it truly is my child then what is the issue honestly i really appreciate how she changed her mind later on well i mean here's the thing man we don't know and i think paternity testing should be you know mandatory at birth chat let me know i know we have new viewers here i know some of the, the other guys that watch a lot uh, agree with me on this I take but like i think that you know paternity testing should be you know regulated at as soon as the birth happens do a dna test I'm a father who's never been to jail on you his kids. You snitching. You snitching. You snitching on. You will snitch on your own kids. I'm not. I ain't. I will. You goddamn right. I will. Exactly. You goddamn so. right. I snitch on my. Charleston. I love Charleston White. Not every. I don't agree with everything, but there's one quote that he has when somebody's in their feelings. It's like, I'm just throwing rocks and if it hits you, holla. Like, I'm just saying things and if it hurts your feelings, that means there's some resonating um, sense of, of be, it being true or factual. My own son, but I ain't gonna show my hold of my ass for my to get no money. And I hope Crickets. my daughter don't either because she graduated this year at 15 and her daddy bought her a car. She ain't got to go for this no man for a daddy. He a daddy been here since day one. So she's calling this man not a real man. This one, and, and sucking down these vapes, bro. If you vape, please stop vaping. We don't know the long term you know, effects of these. They're, more than likely, it's probably going to be bad. It's probably not going to be good. Oh, pop it. Don't touch my face. Oh, I'm sorry. You look good, girl. Stop just, vaping on me. Thank you. She need to work. Just need to pull that up. <laughs> what, what you pointing to? Why she? Why you say she need to pull that up? Nothing. She already got a boyfriend, but no, no more mans need to see that. <laughs> Even the little girl's based. I love it. <laughs> now this pretty much just proves that honestly. She's probably raised by her grandparents though, because I mean that, um, that conservative mindset there is is more than likely not a uh, millennial mindset millennial women are all about showing it and blowing it y'all no uh, <laughs> um, no why you gotta get a big ass
you probably have some type of insecurity within yourself that Thanks. probably leak into other areas of your life and it'll probably make our relationship very difficult so Thanks. would you rather date a fitness girl then i like fit girls <laughs> honestly i agree with this if you yeah, really yeah, and like bro chat let me know would you rather have a girl with a bbl or a natural butt i'd rather a girl have a smaller natural butt than a bbl because these bbls kill y'all and y'all styles <laughs> don't match you know record deal I am. about you? Right. Let's go ahead and take a look at your journey on Pop the Balloon. How many kids you got? I got three. You got three? Yep. How many baby daddies? I have three. You got three baby daddies? Yes. Okay. How many kids you have? I have two. How many baby daddies? Two. Two? Stupid. Okay. So you didn't think after the first one that you wanted to marry the next one? Single mom. <laughs> He's cooking. No. No? How many kids you preference. have? preference. I have three. You 25, have three? 18, and 12. Okay. How many baby daddies? <laughs> Two. Two. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I just want you to understand, when it comes to a man of top tier, we give you a few from one man. Yes. If you have multiple from a different man, mm -hmm. that, that, that disqualifies yourself. So it disqualifies a top tier. He said nothing wrong. It's, it's like, damn, your decision-making skills are horrible. <laughs> <laughs> that man ain't said one lie. It's so true, though. Like, chat, let me know what you think. I would let a woman get away with maybe... I, personally, I would never get with a baby mom. Does somebody want to carry it? Oh, I saw you lick your lips there, buddy boy. Free. Sit. Wait. Free. Go to your place. I can see where you would give the pass to a woman if she did have, you know, multiple kids with one man. But if she has multiple baby daddies and multiple kids, yes, your decision-making skills are absolute trash garbage. And why would I want to come in and, and play Captain Save Somebody? A man of value is going to look at that and go, wow, her decision-making skills are absolutely trash and horrible. Why would I want to risk being with her and maybe potentially marry her if she can't even make good decisions then? Maybe she can make a little bit better ones now. But the problem is with these women, when they have these kids, they put their kids first. And in a relationship, you're supposed to put your spouse first. That's where a lot of marriages go wrong as well, is they start having kids, they put the kids first, they don't put their spouse first, and then the, the relationship just crumbles. Same thing with these single moms. They have these kids, they put these kids above their man, and the man's like, well, I'm second tier, but I'm, I'm expected to provide, protect, be there emotionally, physically, financially. Like, it's a bad deal for guys. So I, I can't blame him at all for asking those questions. <laughs> and I absolutely love how he started talking to each one by... He's like, how, and, and it's almost like... The stories write themselves. He almost knew the answer to these. He was like, how many kids do you have? How many baby daddies? Three, three, two, three, like... It's just so bad. It's like it, it gets to a point where it's unforgivable. Like, are we just supposed to look past that? Am I supposed to be the fifth or sixth baby daddy? Like, come on, dude. Sit. That's 30% of all men who go to actually get paternity tested That's turn crazy. out to not be the father. Mm. So out of every hundred, 30 of those will not be the dad. And this is exactly Oof. why we should make it. Oof. She's a runner. She's a track star. That's brutal, bruv. Three out of 10. 30 out of 100. That's nuts. These ladies out here just getting it in. Saying he's the dad. He's the dad when he really ain't even the dad. Idea, there was such a disdain for single moms up until this post. Um, no, there's still disdain, disdain for single moms. Single mom. <laughs> And I'm really perplexed by this because single moms are where it's at. We have unlimited supply of snacks, juice boxes, water bottles, Stupid. baby wipes, because you never know when you're going to spill. I can whip up the most elaborate meal on the planet with the most random ass that I've got in the pantry Stupid. just to fill your belly. You're fucking missing out, bro. This woman's really trying Ain't to- nobody missing out on that. <laughs> what are you missing out on? Somebody else's kids? <laughs> Raised in somebody else's snot nose brass that we can't we can't discipline. That's not our legacy, bro. What are you talking about? Nobody gets on stage when they're accepting an award and goes, you know what? I really want to thank my stepdad, <laughs> Charles, who really stood up. No, come on, dude. Every man's worst fear. Married 15 years, he has been sterile his whole life, but has three kids. What? Doctor walks in and tells me I'm in good health, but I'm sterile. I'm like, I'm sterile. Sterile. I'm sterile. I got. Wait, chat. Let me know. Do you say sterile or sterile? I think I think it's sterile, right? Three kids, I don't make no damn sense to me. I don't understand, I'm sterile. I don't know. It, it just, it blows my mind. You know, I got three kids. One's 15, one's 12, one's seven. So I'm Those like, I don't, I don't understand that. So anyway, I go home and I just start thinking. Could these 
it's, it's got to be my kids. Yeah. But I started thinking about the fact that every time we watch, uh, like, you know, like those Ancestry.com uh, commercials, they come on and my wife kind of always turns the channel. I'm like, why are you always turn it? I noticed you always turn the channel. She's like, those, those are stupid. They don't even work. And I'm like, anyway, That's I fine. started really thinking. I'm like, if I'm sterile, and, and the doctor said, I've, been, I've always been sterile. It's like, it's not like something that, you know, it's, it's it always been since genetically since I was born. I, I started thinking, I'm like, man, I, I'm, I'm going to have to go ahead and get these kids tested. You know, I really mm -hmm. didn't want to. I wanted to, to, to believe that my wife wouldn't do this to me, but I have to get my kids tested. So the video is pretty long, but basically, I mean, I'm good man. Smart for him. Go get tested, bro. If you don't think your kids are your kids, go get a paternity test. Go swab those cheeks of your kids. That sounded really bad. It sounded really bad. Um, but I think that's what they do. They just swab the inside of the cheek and then boom, you send it over to end or you like spit in a cup or something like that. Um, let me know chat. Have you guys done the ancestry or the 23 and me? Have you guys done those? What are your thoughts on those? Some people are like, I don't want them to steal my DNA. I think it's really sus. Um, I don't know, man. I, I think if somebody has your DNA, what are they going to do? Are they going to plant evidence with, with so many forensics and things like that? I don't think somebody would go out of their way to like plant evidence on you right now. I feel, I feel like that's a little egregious. I mean, maybe somebody would, but uh, I still feel like that's a little wild. I don't think anybody's going to be really coming for you like that. They can check like cell phone records and, and things like that. So I don't know. Absolutely went into marriage knowing I was going to become a divorcee. There was no question in my mind. Wait, I what? She went into marriage knowing she was going to be a divorcee? Stupid. Why'd you even get married? I knew at some point we would get divorced. The only question mark was when. So then why did you get married? And obviously I don't want to get married ever again. However, double divorcee is a term that I'm living for. This it genuinely breaks my heart, man. You know, knowing that there was some dude out here that thought this woman was gonna be with him for the rest of his life. You know, like, and this is the whole problem is that once you take those vows, you're supposed to be with that person forever. You know what I'm saying? It breaks my heart. At this point, I don't understand well, what death over divorce, man. At least in my opinion. That's what me and Cass agreed upon. Death over divorce. We'll do anything it takes before that. But if there's any infidelity, we'll end the relationship. We've, we agreed upon that. I, th I feel like if that happens, like, it's a wrap. Finding out I'm the father. 99.9% .9 not compatible. So you got pregnant around the time you were with me. Is there, are you crazy? No, it's nothing to go back about. Who was you f***ing? Apparently right now there's a huge debate on whether or not paternity tests should be mandatory. Yes. A lot of women are against it, to no surprise whatsoever. A lot of them are saying that they would divorce their husband immediately if he asked them for a paternity test. This is the craziest gaslighting tactic ever. Divorce over just finding out the truth? You'd rather end a relationship than know the truth. This is absolutely <laughs> wild to me, bruv. End a relationship over just what the truth is. You were sleeping around. It is what it is. This is absolutely nuts to me. Modern women, dude. You can't make this stuff up. And anxiety starts to make a lot more sense when you realize that men don't have friends. And I know you're probably on the other side of the screen right what? now thinking, yeah, no, that's impossible. My man hangs out with his homeboys literally all the time. So, like, clearly he has friends. And to that, I raise the question. Man, shut they... the fuck off. God <laughs> damn, bro. <laughs> shut the fuck up. I done seen, like, oh five dumbass bitches say some dumbass shit like this. Damn, bro. Like. Yeah, but 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 y'all, but 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 y'all go on motherfucking trips to Miami and fall out in six hours, and y'all start goddamn y'all fall out in six hours and goddamn get to tell her who who panties dirty. But we not friends. Fuck up, man. That shit. Them motherfuckers just be talking. For real, or do they just share a common interest? Because if you observe male friendships. You'll Stupid. quickly realize that the way that they act towards each other is entirely opposite to the way that women interact with each other. Like, if you really listen to a man talk about his homeboys for real, it's not giving friend. It's... <laughs> Hey. Yeah, I really have no Bro, idea. So what's so stupid. Like she constitutes what a friend is. Everybody's definition of a friend is a little bit different. Chat, let me know in the comments. Do you guys have friends? Because apparently to this chick, you don't have a friend. I've got multiple friends. 
mainly the ones I've, I've kept in contact with though is the ones that I've known for like a very long time, high school, college, until now. Until now. Cake, they accidentally dropped it, and the bride was standing there watching, just stunned. Uh, but her husband's reaction showed that she married a good one. Going over there and eating it off the ground, waving her over. Now, if you guys are very yeah, curious, cares, what man? kind of material possessions don't make people happy? The quicker you figure that out, the more fulfilling life is. Things aren't going to make you happy. Money doesn't buy you happiness, but a lot of people would rather cry in a Lambo than cry in a Toyota Civic, which I get. But the thing is, there's a lot of people out there that have a lot of money that are absolutely miserable. Try to get ready. That women tend to be happier when they are single. I could have married a lot of the people that I've dated. Okay, I turned 40 this year, and I've never been in love. I've never been in a relationship. If you hear something or an update about your ex, and it just kills you. Women tend to be happier, ha happier when they are single. Struggling financially, being alone. Bro, being independent and being like a feminist woman, being alone, boss babe, that stuff is expensive. And I don't think a lot of these women even realize that. You want to be alone, keep your standards really high. Welcome to the adult world. Everything's expensive. You got to pay for everything now. Have fun. Having no one there to talk to as you age, you know, no kids. And I always thought I would have kids. I thought I would be married by now. And now I, the closer I get to it and I'm scared. I don't, I don't know. She's a runner. She's a track star. Love it when a woman tells her bop lore. Put some bop lores in the chat. <laughs> I know none of y'all feel bad for these women, no. and rightfully so. A lot of you guys are probably thinking they get what they deserve. But I think they do deserve a little bit of empathy in the fact that they've been lied to. They've been lied to by society, by their parents, by school, by culture, by movies, etc. To believe that being a boss babe and being strong and independent, getting that degree and entering the corporate life, all of that stuff was the most important thing you can do. Those are the things that will bring you fulfillment in life. And all of these studies are showing that older women who are single are much happier. Do a quick search, Better. you'll find dozens of them. When you find unbiased studies that are just researching the population as a whole, they say quite the opposite. And it's just hard to decipher the truth anymore. And as men, we need to stop teaching our daughters these false beliefs. Yeah, guys, you guys can believe. I mean, I agree. I agree to a certain extent. But the thing is, you're the one consuming the content. You can't be persuaded if you take the content and say, you know what, I'm not going to fall into that. Now, parents leading, I can understand that to a certain extent. A lot of people, this is something I've told a lot of my friends, like, go disappoint your parents. You know how afraid some people are to disappoint their parents? Chat, let me know if you've ever disappointed your parents. I've disappointed my mom multiple times because I was raised by a single mom. My parents split up when I was 11. I disappointed my, my mom a lot. Getting in trouble here and there. So you know what happens. But the thing is, once you start disappointing your parents, you start to realize that it's really just all on you. So you start taking your life a little bit serious. But if you're always worried about what your parents think, you're always going to be in a childlike mindset. Do you guys agree or do you disagree? I think when you start disappointing your parents, they start respecting you as an adult. And when you set those boundaries as an adult, you get more respect. Because there is that transition where you go from being a child in your parents' eyes to being an adult. The hard thing is, is that it's your choice on how that transi transition goes. If you choose to always make them happy, you're always going to be seen as a child. If you choose to communicate that and be the adult in the scenario, they're going to start seeing you as an adult. Over the past like four to five years, my mom has had to see me go from her little boy to now being an adult man. And I have to check her from time to time. Do I like checking my mom? No. But I open the car doors for Cass. I open restaurant doors for Cass. I make sure Cass is taken care of. Care of. Chivalry is alive and well in my household because I have a traditional woman. But I don't open the door for my mom. I don't pull out my mom's chair. And she may even complain. She has complained. Well, why don't you pull the chair out for me? Why don't you do that for me? And I go, I'm not your husband. I'm your son. You want that stuff to happen? Get your husband to do it. Do you think I like having to check my mom and tell her stuff like that? No, I don't like doing that. But you have to. She respects me more as a man when I check her and say, that's not my job. That's your husband's job. Do you guys agree with that? Because the thing is, if you keep treating your mom like a significant other or like your girl, you turn into a son husband. We see this stuff all the time. Men turning into son husbands where they treat their mom like a significant other. They open the door for her. They take care of her. They give her money. They take her out on like Mother's Day dates. And like, I don't do any of that anymore. Cass is the woman I spoil and take care of. My mom is my mom. We have a different relationship.
where back in the day, you know, 15, you know, 20 years ago, I saw my mom is like, oh, I need to take care of my mom. I need to pull the chair out for her. I need to open the door. I need to be chivalrous towards my mom. Now, I'm still polite to my mom. I'm not rude. But there's a big difference between being her son and acting like her husband. This is where you fall into that son husband. Don't feel like you need to save your mom. I can be your hero, baby. You don't need to be your mom's hero. She needs to go out and find a good man. And if she squandered the good years to find a good man, then she's just going to be a single mom. Single mom. That's not your fault. Don't feel like it falls on your, sh your shoulders to take care of your mom and be the man in her life. No, you're her son. You're not a husband, but a lot of guys turn into son husbands, which it's a really sad reality because there's a lot of really good men out there that, you know, want to take care of a woman, but they end up being a son husband because their mom takes advantage of them. Don't let them take advantage of your niceness. Don't let them treat you like a son husband. Let them treat you like a son, but you have to set that boundary. The results. Yes, I'm ready. When it comes to the paternity of three-year-old Sage Catron, that you, Mr. Knighton, are not the father. Brutal. Should have known with the bull nose ring, though. You should have known. That's a lie. I don't. That test must be a lie. Let me just Stupid. say this, Miss Corella. Possibility of paternity zero <laughs> percent. <laughs> That's a lie. Things can lie. <laughs> That's a lie. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh, oh God. He can lie. You can lie. The DNA does not lie. It is what it is you belong to the streets she's a runner she's a track star tell us more about your bop lore it's over okay, okay. good for are him. you ready to disclose who the father is sure um the father would be the man that was in that video so I knew it. so the manager <sighs> Yes. See, your Honor, yes, she owes it was me some money, at least for that. No, sir. She <laughs> owes me something, Your Honor. What you got, Mr. Knighton, is your freedom. So, so run with it. Oh, yeah, you right about that. I'm free from this problem. Right. Now, I've definitely showed a lot of clips on this. Wow, bro, that's crazy. That is absolutely nutty. Oh, I meant to tell you guys. So while we're going through these videos, I noticed there's a clip feature on YouTube. Please, if you guys would, if there's funny moments or bits of knowledge that you like, start clipping things. What I'll do is I'll take your clips and I'll put them into shorts. I would really appreciate it if you guys started clipping things. I just don't have the time to record as much as I'm recording and go back through and do clips and shorts. So if you guys would, um, please, please clip some things. Anything that you think is funny, clip. If you don't know how to clip, I'm sure there's somebody in the chat that can help you figure it out. Um, let's jump into the Discord. Um, or sorry, the Reddit. So from Money Talk, short clip reaction, video currently unavailable. Sorry, man, those are unavailable. Uh, comedian always always are always the best to voice their minds about this topic. Feminist or F-boy? Ladies, see. how are we going to get on the same page? We agree on most shit, right? You think that we disagree on a lot, sweetheart? Like what? Like what? Really? I went to one of them women's marches and we had a lot in common. I saw those girls screaming, free the nipple. <laughs> I agree with that. Yeah. That sounds pretty good. Right? They were screaming, we should be able to have sex with as many guys as we want. Yes, you should. Yeah. If we get pregnant, we should be able to abort it. Hopefully. <laughs> and we need to work so we can pay our half. Hallelujah. <laughs> Fellas, get down here. It's happening. We've reached common ground. It was unbelievable. These women were fighting for the right to become the men they've always hated. That's why was... I always say these women, <laughs> they're having to turn into the men that they've always wanted. Walking around with their shirts off, fucking whoever, not worried about the kid. I'm like, are y'all feminists or fuckboys? What is this shit? <laughs> I'm just saying, we're on the same team, you know what I mean? And that's good because this is as good as it gets, ladies. Y'all can't move anywhere else and it gets better for y'all. Facts. <laughs> you gotta deal with us being sexist. That's a fact. We are fucking sexist. We say stupid shit. Like, women can't drive. <laughs> Women can't drive. But in the Middle East, they're like, no, seriously, women can't drive. So we don't play that shit out here. Are there women driving? Ahmed, give me the fucking stones. These bitches out here driving. Gotta teach them a lesson with stones. 
I'm not saying there aren't things that y'all gotta go through. Obviously, you know, like you, you might have a daughter that has low self-esteem because she's comparing herself to these unrealistic images every single day, and that's really fucked up. Get your um, kids off of social media. Um, but but in China, <laughs> you can't have a daughter. So, what is it, what is yeah. it like one kid per household or something? You have a daughter, they just mash it into an iPhone. That's the policy. Oh. Enjoy your FaceTime. Enjoy your FaceTime. There's a little Chinese girl inside every one of your iPhones. Why you think when your phone breaks, they say put in a bag of rice? You think that's a coincidence? Oh my you God, think that's, that's a good. coincidence? I've never heard that. It's to soak up her tears, okay? Have some respect. That is dark. We love y'all, okay? And we want to make you happy. I think most guys want to make you, especially sexually. There's this rumor like we don't care about satisfying you. That's not true at all. We feel pathetic if we don't satisfy you. That shit is just mad difficult. If we're going to keep it a buck, it's, it's true. Like writing a dissertation. It takes a long time. Yo, the clit, I don't know exactly where it is. I still do Ash Wednesday every time I'm down there, dog. Like, right? Like, longitude, latitude, you bump into it. Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. You do that enough times, you get baptized. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good clip. Who sent that? Uh, Yang, VT, solid clip, man, solid clip. Appreciate you guys sharing stuff in the uh, the Reddit. Make sure to share stuff. Sorry, rock stars. Um, those videos are currently unavailable. Um, but yeah, man, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality Makes You Irresistible to Women and Respected by Men. Loki, did you have a good time today? Well, did you have a good time today? I hope you did. All right, man, I really do appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.